Hey everyone, and of course, welcome to the next edition of Forum Bytes, where as you know, everything Forum is in bite-sized chunks. Now, as you know, in this current series, we're talking about Forum Health, or more importantly, how to measure it. And I want to take a little bit of a different tact for this video. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know about the uh, different programs that are, are given by EO to help Forum integrate together. You know, the AFS program, which is the Advanced Forum Series, where a trainer comes to the chapter or the forum and talks about certain topics for four hours. There's certain topics like uh, shifting into high gear, how to dive deep, um, as well as how to fire up your forum. And funny enough, the trainers are actually working on new AFS topics and are the new AFS program. But I'm not here to spruik the AFS program, but I am here today to talk about contracts and how they make it easier for you. Now before you turn off, I know what you're thinking. Contracts, what does a contract have to do with my forum health? Using the contracts in the past has made the moderator's job so much easier when actually organizing these types of events. The reason why I know that is because I've either dealt with people or me personally has actually not used them. The contracts are designed to make your jobs easier. What I did, of course, is I said, I'm going to set a date for an AFS. I'm going to get my forum together. That's hard to do. You know what diaries are like. You can't get them lined up. So I'm going to go straight to the trainer and I'm going to organise it myself. I organised it that way and everyone turned up to the AFS and no one knew what they were doing. No one knew what they were paying for. No one knew actually who was paying for it. And then it actually turned out to be a positive, negative effect. The one good thing about the contracts is that when you're working with the EO staff, I work a lot with uh, Leah, Diane, Debbie and Annika, and I know you guys and girls will be working with your chapter uh, managers, but when you work with these contracts, it's a really simple process, but it's an important one. The reason why that is in the contract, it specifies where they're going to stay, how they're going to stay, who's going to pay for it. Uh, it specifies what AFS or what program you're booking. It's, it allows you to choose what trainer you want to do and allow your date to be fluid based on that trainer. Or of course also it could be that no, my date is set and they find a trainer for you within a week which is on the contract. And in the end this contract makes it easier for you for one reason. The main reason for you to turn up to an AFS program with your forum is to be part of the process, to be part of the AFS lifting your forum to another level so you can not only gauge but lift your forum health. If you are continually worried about where people are staying, who's paying for what, as well as you don't know the full background that has to be filled in for the trainer or for EO or for your forum, it means you won't be part of the process. I know doing paperwork is difficult. I find it extremely hard. But if I had my time all over again, the first thing I would do before I do anything for an AFS or anything for a forum, I'd start with a contract. As always, if anyone's got any questions or comments, please leave your comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.